All right, so welcome to another Hardware Canucks unboxing sort of preview video. Uh, what we have in front of us is the XFX Radeon HD 5870. Now this card is the talk of the town right now. Um, we've actually done a full review, which you can see over at www.hardwarecanucks.com. It has all of the benchmarks as well as an in-depth look at the new card. So I'm really excited for this. Let's get unboxing. So let's take a look at the box. We have the usual funky XFX style, styled in ATI red. On the right side, we have a quick description of some of the ATI technologies that are included on the card. And then, then on the back, we have sort of the marketing material um, and a general description of what is included with the card as well as their five-star support description. On the right side, there is the key features of the card, such as the one gig of DDR5 memory. Um, ATI's new Infinity technology with support for up to three displays. And if you've ever seen a demo of that, you'll know that this is some pretty radical stuff. Um, ATI stream technology offloading CPU tasks onto the GPU. Um, they still have an improved folding, mind you. But we have DirectX 11, um, GL Crossfire, Avivo, Dynamic Power Management. Uh, now this is kind of cool down here. What they have included is, along with HDMI and the dual DVI, we have DisplayPort, which was a port when picked up by AMD. Um, they've adapted it in order to be able to use the iFinity, so you can have three monitors attached to a single display using DisplayPort and the PCI Express 2.0 support. Um, on the far side of the box, we have the system requirements for the card. Now, what that is, is obviously you need a PCI Express slot and a 500 watt or greater power supply. Now, if you take a look at our review on the unit, you'll see that that's probably not a bad recommendation. And you'll need a dual six pin PCI Express power connectors, Crossfire, you'll need four. And also a quick description of what is in the box, which we're gonna take a look at. So let's open it up. Now as we open up the unit, I'm just gonna yammer on a bit about XFX's warranty. They are one of the better warranties for ATI. Um, what they offer is off the bat, a lifetime guarantee for the card for the original owner. Um, on top of that, they also offer a transferable warranty, which is great if you're going to be selling the card after you're done that warranty transfers off to the buyer. Also, they have a modder friendly warranty, which if you're gonna be adding like a water block or a heat sink and fan or whatever, they will still be able to cover the card in the event of a manufacturing, that's the key, manufacturing defect. So let us open it up and see what we have. We have a box inside of a box, obviously. Um, at the top, we have a quick install guide, which is the which is the physical depiction of how to install it. We have an installation guide which basically teaches you how to install the drivers if you're not familiar with how to hit the next button. Um, we also have a CD here which I assume is going to be drivers and maybe some sort of overclocking utility. Um, we have the door hanger which you'll find in a lot of XFX cards. Now what's cool about this is they've included both the part number and your individual card's serial number along with a username and password thing. So anything that you're gonna need in order to RMA it if in, you have to. Um, you also have Dirt 2, which is one of the premier titles for DirectX 11. So most every version of the 5870 is going to include that, be it XFX or another company. Um, I'm not gonna show you the product key because I wanna play it. And then in here, no, not quite yet. Let us take a look at, we have a Molex, we have a Molex 2, um, the PCI. The power connectors, we actually have we have two of them. Uh, there's VGA into, into DVI, and there is the Crossfire connector. All right, and now it is time for the highlight of the show. Um, XFX Radeon HD 5870 video card, and wow, this thing is huge. Right off the bat, oh, you see it has, the front has the same style as the box, which is a really nice design. Um, and boy, is it a big card. Let's just move this out of the way quickly. Pull over, we have a 9800 GX2, which previously is one of the largest cards on the market. We'll match it up with the 5870 here. And as you can see, well, the 9800 is trumped. Um, 5870 is by all means the largest card that you're gonna be able to find. So I hope that if you're getting it, you have a large case. You're gonna need space for a 10 and a half inch video card. So just looking at the card here, we have a sort of a plastic sort of PCB there on the back. We have a little bit of venting. Um, on the side here, as it goes in like so, uh, you have the PCI Express, uh, the power slots, as well as a little bit of venting here. Uh, you have the crossfire connectors here. On the back, you actually will have a cover over the PCB. Um, this is hopefully to eliminate some ESD if you're gonna be touching the card like I am. Um, 
Also, we have on the front, we have our two DVI connectors, HDMI, and there is that display port we we're talking about. Um, and then at the bottom, just a little bit of venting. It'll be interesting to see how that affects the temperatures with that little amount of room. Um, other than that, that's about all there is to the card. It's really big. It's going to be a big weight in your system, um, but it looks pretty cool. So let's take a look at the benchmarks and we'll be back. All right, so there we are, the XFX Radeon HD 5870. I must say, what a great card. Um, it's looking like it's gonna take the crown as the single best GPU solution on the market. And with a price tag of $399, it falls right in line with the competition. Now, ATI is also producing a cheaper version of the card, um, which features sort of the same, the same advancements in technology um, for about $299, and that is the HD 5850. Now, both of which are gonna be really hard to find on the market um, right after release. So if you wait a week or two, hopefully more are gonna to start to filter into the retail channels. Other than that, that is it for this unboxing video and have a good one.